Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video I will going to talk about some more Python Seaborn chart related to the data analysis. So before I start, just wanted to ask if there is any other you know tutorial related to the Seaborn that you would like to see or the chart that you would like to see probably which I have not covered so far. However, I have a plan to show the relational chart and all. But if you have anything particular in mind and you think will be useful for others as well, let me know in the comments and I will try to create the video tutorial for that. All right. So the chart that I want to show you today is basically comes in the categorical charting category. And uh, this basically shows the overall distribution of data along with outliers. So probably you have predicted the chart by now. But if not, I am talking about the box plot chart. So box plot chart helps you understand how your data is distributed over the quartiles and what the median is and what the outliers are so that you can really, you know, take uh, the advantage of the visualization by quickly identifying whether this is as per your expectations or not. And visualization really helps us understanding what really going with the data uh, as compared to our assumption. So let's see how we can create it. Well, I have already imported the Seaborn library and the data. So if I just show you the same data set which I have been using. So what I'll do is I will just delete it. I press two times T. That's a shortcut. Again, I'm telling you. However, I have created a separate video for those shortcuts. But uh, if you are coming out of this and uh, by pressing escape and enter D two times, D is Delhi. So D two times, if you press, the row will be deleted. All right. So SNS uh, is basically the alias of the Seaborn library that I imported and the cat plot here. We will specify on the X axis, the categories. Let's say we want product category and on the Y axis, let's say uh, this time we take a different variable. Um, maybe we want to understand the shipping cost that is associated with each category data equals to sales and kind equals to box. All right, let's enter this. And here is a chart that is clearly showing you the distribution of three different categories for shipping costs. So on the Y axis, you have shipping cost on the X axis, you have categories. So office supplies and the technology indicates that uh, their average cost, the average shipping cost is very low, which is this line, the middle line over here. And this one as compared to this one, the furniture item probably because the furniture item is pretty bulky in nature and that's why they require more cost. And another thing you see that in case of office supplies, you have more outliers as compared to the other two categories. So that's a quick observation that you can make related to this, uh, related to this box plot chart. But it, do, it doesn't only show this, how uh, it shows other information about the upper whisker, the lower whisker, uh, what is the first 25%, uh, what is the value up till fifth, uh, zero to 50% and things like that. Uh, if, if you are aware about the entire uh, distribution of the box plot chart, but the journey doesn't stop here. So right now we are looking at the shipping cost. But let's say we want to understand the shipping cost from the shipping mode perspective. So what you can do is copy this. This is about uh, drilling down into the data and better, better understand what is really going on when you further grill it. That's what you say grilling the data. So what I'm adding over here is the hue parameter and you will see it in a second what it will do. So ship mode if i'm not wrong that should be right yes so ship mode is basically the regular air delivery truck and express air and for all the these three categories three different chart is produced one for regular air then for express air and this is delivery truck 
clearly giving you an indication that delivery truck is you know if you are shipping by delivery truck the cost is really high so if you see it's a pretty nice observation as compared to this one this is a very high level where we identified that furniture the median cost of the furniture is really high but we went but when we look at from the shipping mode perspective we clearly see that for office supply the cost is going even higher than the furniture so you may see that or you may want to investigate that what is going on what are all these products which is uh, you know going even beyond the uh, the furniture which in general is your highest shipping cost uh, product category now after that let's say you get a requirement that your management is uh, uh, used to of seeing this particular chart or these particular categories in a particular order so for example they want to see the categories let's say what we have shown over here is regular air delivery truck and express air into a way where delivery truck is first regular air is second and express air is third so in that case what we can do is copy this so this is about bit of a formatting which is also an important part and after this hue i will add a comma but it doesn't really matter i can add it at the end as well but uh, since it is related to hue that's why i am adding the parameter over here so in hue we will pass on the list that uh, first is delivery truck then second is regular air and then third is express air i think it should be okay now so yes as you can see you have formatted the chart based on the request you got that delivery truck should come first then the regular air then the express air all right now after this let's say you get one more requirement so what they told you that this chart looks good but they want to evaluate all these three categories independently from the presentation perspective so what you can do is you can come over here or maybe not this one but maybe this one because uh, i don't want order in that case so over here so this will produce a chart like this where for these three product category these are the three ship modes so let me execute and show you it's the same implementation that we did earlier now we want an individual chart for regular air delivery truck and express air so in that case what i can add is row instead of hue that for each row we need uh, one chart and there will be three chart in that case so if i just execute this as you can see ship mode is regular air over here then ship mode is delivery truck then ship mode is express air right so this way you can create a chart like this and uh, let's say if they after seeing this chart they say that no uh, we probably need it in a one single row that means after this chart you have chart over here chart over here so that's how requirements keeps changing and what you can take is an advantage of the column parameter col so earlier as you know we used row but now we will be using call which is nothing but the column which says that put all the charts in one single column so if i just execute it all these three charts in the one single column and they are sharing the same y axis this way uh, i feel that uh, this is a much better representation than the earlier one which was row this way i can you know analyze each chart individually and they are well formatted in one single line which i can put it in a proper presentation or a report as well after that one last thing which i will show you is one next level of complexity let's say we want to analyze all this but along with each customer segment so under each customer segment whether it is home office or corporate or consumer or small business what are our shipping mode by these 
you know all these categories and all these product category product categories so over here the only thing you need to add is the previous parameter which is row and you need to say customer segment so this will make things a little bit more complex but it is it will going to grill the data a lot so if i just execute it you will see a lot of charts so here we see the chart for customer segment which is small business regular air small business delivery truck small business express air right then the customer segment is changing over here changing over here and then finally the fourth customer segment so this way you will make your visualization and data analysis you know skills to a next level also this will help you grill the data a lot so that you can clearly see the pattern where let's say you have outliers so things like in consumer customer segment consumer only the delivery truck is having the outlier but not the other two and you will see uh, similar sort of observations which is uh, related to the distribution and the outliers into all these different charts but that's about how you can go really inside into the data using the box plot chart and make an impact with your data analysis so that's about it let me know how did you find it um, and yeah leave me a comment with uh, what do you want to see next and hopefully i'll try to prepare a video for that